Good evening and welcome to tonight's Yukon City Council Municipal Authority. It is October 18th, 2022, 7 p.m. We're in the council chambers here in the Centennial Building at 12 South 5th Street in the great city of Yukon, Oklahoma. We'll start tonight with Dennis Kaufman from Chisholm Trail Presbyterian Church, who will give our invocation followed by the flag salute. Would you please stand? prayer dear gracious and heavenly father we ask for your blessings to flow down on our city council our city and all the citizens of Yukon we are blessed that you are our Lord and Savior and we give you thanks for your guidance and love in Jesus name we pray amen, amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which I stand one nation under God Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Roll call. Selby. Here. Wooten. Here. Yonda. Gilliland. Here. Zimmerman. Here. This time we're going to do a presentation of a proclamation. I can have all the first responders please come forward. Boy, I wish we had all of y'all here every Tuesday night. That would be awesome. We thank you so much. We have our police here, our fire, our Integris nurses, our Pafford. We just want you to know we appreciate you from the bottom of our heart for everything that you do to keep this city safe and in good hands. So it's with great honor that I make this proclamation. Whereas individuals, both career and volunteer, including law enforcement personnel, emergency operators and dispatchers, firefighters, emergency medical technicians, hospital and medical staff, Search and rescue personnel and many others serve the public as first responders in the events of an emergency. And whereas first responders are vital members of our community, protecting our neighbors, loved ones from existing threats and remaining vigilant for new threats that may emerge. And whereas throughout the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, first responders have been on the front lines in the ongoing effort to keep our communities safe from the wide-ranging and devastating effects of the virus. Whereas despite the challenges and the dangers they face on the job, many first responders receive relatively low salaries according to figures from the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics. And whereas the families of first responders always make significant sacrifices to support their loved ones' services, these family members live with the reality that their spouse, sibling, parent, or loved one may not return home from the job. And they deserve our appreciation and respect for bearing this burden. And whereas the city of Yukon, Oklahoma, recognizes significant work and sacrifices of our first responders and their families, we are especially grateful for their service to keep our community and citizens safe. Now therefore, I, Shelley Selby, Mayor of Yukon, Oklahoma, do hereby proclaim October 28th 2022 as National First Responders Day in the city of Yukon and I urge everyone to thank a first responder for keeping our community safe and for all you do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is given under my hand and seal at the city of Yukon on this 18th day of October 22nd. Can we just give them a round of applause? Thank you so much. We could not have survived 20 at 20 without you guys. We couldn't survive without you even through a day. What you do for our city is amazing, and what your sacrifices are, know that you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much. I don't know who I give this to. You want to take that? Directed. Thank you. And I want to tell this young man. Thank you all for coming and know that you are always welcome in our meetings. Now get back out there and keep us safe. <laughs> all right. 
is that time in our uh, meeting that was time for the visitors. Remember, this is a time that we are here to discuss City of Yukon business and only City of Yukon business. Do we have any visitors? This one? Mr. Bill Sandifer. Remember, this is about City of Yukon business. You have three minutes. State your name and your address. So, uh, so does that mean the businesses of Yukon? The city of Yukon. So the VA is in Yukon. But the city has no jurisdiction over the VA. So are you saying I can't speak about anything? If it has to do with the business of the city of Yukon. The business is in Yukon. Now the city of Yukon business, that means our city personnel business. I understand you have a concern with the VA, but we have no control over that. And this oh, form, I know, but during this forum is for the city of Yukon business. Public comments. For the city of Yukon's business. You'd rather see a video? I, let me just say one thing. I attached a video and I appreciate the mayor and the good people here. And uh, I, I did a video once before, actually two times. It went viral. Okay. Does this have to do with the city of Yukon? We do have a reporter here. If you would like to give him your concerns about the VA hospital, and we also have people within our city who deal with the VA. But we as the city can do that. Then it should be public comments of anything that's on a public person's mind. I'm sorry. That, that's the law. No, that is not. Y yes, it is. Well, there's, there's no right to public comment at a meeting, and if there isn't, if they allow, if they allow public to comment, it has to do with city business. And, and so the business is in Yukon. You're. I, I, I think we're splitting hairs here about the business of operating the city of Yukon, not individual businesses that are located within the city. So you're going to limit a person from talking? Uh... You can talk. You could write an editorial. Right. You can do videos. But here we are only limited to the business of running this city. So this is the first city I've ever seen that uh, wants to limit everything everyone does. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I, I really don't think that's fair. And you're the city attorney and you say that people don't have a right to public comment of businesses and things that happen within the city. That's correct. This is reserved for conduct re regarding comments regarding the city of Yukon operations, not individual businesses within the community. Thank you. Well, now recess as Yukon City Council and reconvene as Yukon Municipal Authority. Item 1A, YMA consent docket. This item is placed on the agenda so the Yukon Municipal Authority by unanimous consent can designate those routine items they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all authority members, that item will be heard in regular order. The city manager recommends a motion to approve the minutes of a regular meeting of October 4th, 2022. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Let's vote, please. Gilliland? Yes. Selby? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Zimmerman? Yes. Okay, we will now adjourn as YMA and reconvene as the Yukon City Council, item one, consent docket. This item is placed on the agenda so the city council by unanimous consent can designate those routine items they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all council members, that item will be heard in regular order. The city manager recommends a motion that will approve the minutes of the regular meeting of October 4th, 2022. B, payment of material claims in the amount of $964,911.82. The medical disability retirement of Donna Coley D, designating the items on the attached list from the technology department as surplus and authorizing their sale, trade, donation, or disposal. E, setting the date for the next regular council meeting for November 1st, 2022, 
7 p.m. in the City Council Chambers of the Centennial Building, 12 South 5th Street. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? <coughs> Let's vote, please. Wooten? Yes. Selby? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Zimmerman? Yes. This time it's for reports of Boards, Commission, and City Officials. Mrs. Kretschmark. Yes, Madam Mayor, I would like to report tonight uh, that our sales tax and use tax uh, came in, our revenue numbers. Um, we are up 6.87% for the same month in the prior year. The year to date, we are up 9.31%. The use tax, the same month last year, was 14.43% increased and the year-to-date is up 20.37 percent. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Remember, shop north of 10th Street. Thank you. Thank you. Item three, consider a motion to approve right-of-way right, right access agreement between the City of Yukon and Dobson Technology Incorporated, DBA, Dobson Fiber for non-exclusive access to the public right-of-way over and under certain streets, alleys, easement, and public rights of way within the corporate limits of the city for fiber internet services. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, let's vote, please. Selby? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Zimmerman? Yes. Item four, consider a motion to approve an agreement between the City of Yukon and Clarity Telecom, LLC, doing business as Blue Peak Fiber for a non-exclusive permit to allow the construction and operation of a cable system. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Let's vote, please. Selby? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Zimmerman? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Item five, consider a motion to approve the bid specifications and authorize advertising of bids for the Freedom Trail Park Playground and Splash Pad at 2101 South Holly Avenue, Yukon, Oklahoma, as recommended by the grant writer. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Let's vote, please. Selby? Yes. Gilliland? Yes. Zimmerman? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Item six, consider a motion to approve ordinance number 1431, an ordinance which provides amendment to the code of ordinances of the city of Yukon, Oklahoma, by amending sections 2-266, 2-267, 2-268, 2-269, and 2-272 of the code of ordinances, providing for amendment of procedures related to purchases of supplies, material, equipment, or contractual services by following the Competitive Bidding Act of 1974 of the State of Oklahoma, which sets a threshold for requiring competitive bidding, adopting the Public Competitive Bidding Act codified at 61 OS 101 through 138, allowing the city manager the authority to set internal controls showing a lower threshold for requiring council approval and declaring an emergency. Do I have a motion? So moved. Do I have a second? I'll make the second. Any discussion? I have a question. Um, to see if I'm understanding thoroughly. I, I missed the study session. Um, when this was discussed, but the, the memo I got outlining the discussion points indicated a, th a threshold being raised from 25, the current 25,000 to a proposed 50,000, which is half of the state statute uh, threshold. Um, if we, if the council approves uh, this amendment, would that threshold be 100,000 or 50,000? Councilmember Gilliland, I would like to explain what we have internal controls and what those are, uh, even though we are doing this the same as the state statute, our internal controls are different. Um, up to 5,000, no quotes will be required. We can purchase within the city limits. Uh, we, are, uh, we are 
notice, not giving notification to everyone that they should purchase within the city limits of Yukon first. Um, from $5,001 to $50,000, three quotes will be required along with the submission of the quote sheet. If a local vendor inside the city limits is within 5% of the lowest quote, then the local vendor is qualified to be chosen as the lowest quote. Construction projects over 50,000 must follow open bidding procedures and the process must go through the city council. Uh, general purchasing, this is for instance, um, if we're buying a, a vehicle or um, any type of item, um, anything that it does not have to do with construction. Uh, from 50,000 to 75,000, we must follow the three quote process. And general purchasing over 75,000 must be approved by the city council. So even though it's 100,000 in the state statute, the council must approve it if it's over 75,000. Um, general purchasing is, like I said, is between 50 and 75,000. We must follow the three quote theory. Um, so it, I can't just spend a hundred thousand without consent of the council until the council approves it. So other than construction, the threshold would be 75,000 basically is what yes, the current language would say. I think one of the things we discussed that night was that you can't even purchase a car for over 50,000 right now. Does anybody else remember anything from that discussion that would be pertinent? One of the yeah. other problems, um, I think, uh, if I may, is again, the costs of everything have gone up mm -hmm. so much. Um, it really has changed our entire system. Um, you know, it's hard to find things that are, that's why we raised the, the minimum was to 5,000. We ha used to have it at 2,000. Mm -hmm. But things have doubled in price, and that's another reason why we feel like we need to change it to the state statute. And that was my question. I didn't see in the ordinance where it had those limits you spoke of. They are internal use. control. So yeah. uh, the purchasing uh, agent and the city clerk and the finance director will all be watching this. So uh, if they see something that they 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 keep it going the the right way to make sure that we're following the procedure. And we also get it when we get our budget printout of what was spent. Right. So that we can keep an eye on. Yeah. That. I mean, you all approve the budget, so. That's one thing we, you know, we don't necessarily have to bring everything back to you that has been approved in the budget, but, but we do anyway. So, I mean, you all have control of everything. Any other questions, concerns? Okay, let's vote, please. Zimmerman? No. Gilden? No. Selby? Yes. Wooten? No. Item 6A, consider approval. Well, we don't need to do 6A since that did not pass. <clears throat> Item 7, consider a motion to approve a permanent sanitary sewer easement to serve River Mesa Phase 3, a part of the River Mesa Addition, Yukon, Oklahoma as recommended by the assistant city manager. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Let's vote, please. Gilland? Yes. Zimmerman? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Selby? Yes. Item eight, consider a motion to approve the interlocal agreement between the city of Yukon and the city of Oklahoma City, removal of existing drainage pipes and construction of a new reinforced concrete drainage box with headwall replacement project located at Northwest 50th Wagner Road and Sarah Road in the amount of $117,615.69 
to be reimbursed $58,807.85 by Oklahoma City as recommended by the Assistant City Manager. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Mitch, you want to tell us a little bit about, is this going to help with uh, flooding and <clears throat> Vice Mayor, uh, basically this is a two pipes that are underneath the road there at Sarah. The bottom of the corrugated uh, pipes are rusted out. It's dropped. Uh, the thing that becomes unique, half of the road is Yukon, half of the road is Oklahoma City. So with the city attorney's help, we drafted an interlocal agreement with them, which we will do the work and they were in bursts for the engineering as well as the permitting and the construction of the box. So this is something that's been going on for several months, but we finally have got it to where we figured out we will approve it tonight. If it's approved, it'll be sent to Oklahoma City, and then once they approve it, then we'll start the project. Very good. Will, will this give us an opportunity to, I'm not even sure what language to use, straighten the road out there on and give Sarah, a little bit more identity to who's supposed to be in which lane? This is on the north side of mm -hmm. Wagner. It's not going to really help straighten up the road, but it will make that drainage better and those head walls on the north side of the road a little bit better and more defined. Okay. All right. Yep. Does that answer all your question? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, it's kind of an offset. It's kind of an interesting deal. But. Okay, let's vote, please. Zimmerman? Yes. Gilwin? Yes. Selby? Yes. Wooten? Yes. Any new business? None tonight, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Now is the time for our council discussion. We'll start with you, Councilman Wooten. Uh, Chief and Chief, I'd like to thank you guys for being amazing at, at y'all's jobs and all the people that you have working under you and work with you. I mean, you guys day in and day out give everything to the city, so I, I appreciate that. Um, also, I'd like to congrats, give congratulations to the band. The band did a great job in St. Louis. Uh, Chief, thanks for setting up a escort for the, the kids. They loved that. Heard there was tears involved. That they thought it was so awesome. Uh, so congrats to them. And also, I uh, wanted to wish my parents a happy birthday. Today, mm -hmm. they share a birthday today. That's right. They do. So happy birthday, parents. Right. Councilman Zimmerman. Uh, my family and I got to go out to the Chisholm Trail Festival on Saturday morning and, and had a really good time. So thanks to the city employees that helped put that on and, and the people at Molly Spencer Farm. Councilman Gillen? Yeah, just to echo Councilman Wooten, thank you to our first responders and uh, and and the, the sacrifices that are made on a regular routine basis for uh, those of us that uh, sometimes unknowingly reap the benefit, so we appreciate you all and, and thank you very much. Right, some dates to remember. Friday, October 21st, movie at the Coop. It's free, 7 p.m. at Jackie Cooper Gym. The Mummy and Son Masquerade is Monday, October 24th at Jackie Cooper Gym. $3 for a child and free for ages 13 and up. Spooky Senior Social, Tuesday, October 25th. That's at Del Robertson, Spooksville. Saturday, October 29th, that's 3 to 9, um, at the Yukon Community Center. Also, Halloween trick-or-treating in the city of Yukon will be on Monday, October 31st. Um, also, be looking for the 16th Annual Mayor Essay Contest. If you haven't heard about it at your school and your pre-K through 6, let me know and I'll get you information. I also went to the Chisholm Trail Festival. I want to say thank you to all the city employees. It was amazing. The weather was great. Uh, and it was one of the best Chisholm Trail festivals I've seen. Make the most of your tomorrows. Be kind to one another. This meeting is adjourned.